Tell me, is anything progressed from the last time we met? No, not at all. You know, it's pretty generic. Uh, the vests were generic, and uh, I've gotten so many. I think there's like the Twitters are just going crazy. People are just talking about it, and, uh, you know, I, at, that wasn't me. You know, I'm the one <clears throat> going back into the vest. This goes way back to the day when I first started with Tap Out. Mask is literally the one that created the vest profile for me. And, um, you know, we've ca I've carried that on to the mo one more round and, and uh, to Bad Boy and all that. And now, you know, not, not to be showing colors. You know, these are my flags, right? And uh, uh, just, you know, to look l like a cut man, uh, I felt real naked just with the, uh, the vest that I had. You used to have the stuff here in the front. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the stuff here on the forearm. I mean, all that. It's precious seconds that you guys no, it, fighters it's a need. Absolutely right. And, you know, uh, fans have really been talking to me about this. And, and one fan asked, did you have anything to do in creating this outfit? And I said, no, you know, but I'm the one that created the outfits. So if they were smart, uh, they would have came up to me and, and really kind of gotten my opinions on what is really functional, number one, for us, and then what would look good for us, okay. you know, and uh, neither one of those questions were asked. As a fighter, doesn't that kind of creep you out to know that you have that much on the line and they haven't even made a phone call to you guys like to say, yeah. hey, what what can we do no. to make it easier? Because it's such no. an important part <laughs> of what he has to no, do. We're, no, we're, and, if, and if they did make a phone call like to another cut man or to another fighter, that person maybe is like one corny motherfucker. I don't know, you know, like, because I don't know. Man. So many fights. I mean, great fights this weekend we saw. But how many guys were cut on Dude, this card? Dude, blood everywhere. Oh, blood was being spilled. You had a busy night. I but before you get into that situation, I want to ask you, I, maybe my I wasn't focused on it. I saw Stitch in the back, and yes. I thought I saw UFC. Was it made by Reebok or UFC? No. Uh, uh, well, the guy that is handling the, the, the Reebok manager uh, is the one that, that made him generically, you know, for us. And... Uh, from what I understand, but it really hasn't been confirmed with us, is that they're supposed to make us some customized ones. But so, uh, but if it does happen, it'll be a Reebok one, right? Uh, probably so. Well, yeah. this is important that this gets out so that they, the same way they worked with the fighters, yeah. they work with the cut men. Yeah. Because what? you saw that this week it was very, very important, man. Guys were leaking everywhere. Uh, I'll tell you what, man. This is, uh, I've done uh, thousands of fights, and this was one of the, the one Saturday night where, I mean, you just saw the canvas and you, I don't know if you saw the tweet of John McCarthy's shoes on the bottom. They were all full of blood. And, uh, but yeah, you know, it, it was a bloody night. And, you know, I, I got to give special props to Michael Faniasev that worked in the blue corner for all the pay-per-view fights because every one of his fighters got cut and he did a tremendous job, you know, keep them in the game, giving them that one more round. And that's what we do, mm -hmm. you know, and then I saw Robbie Lawler, uh, last night in the in the back uh, before I walked out to the uh, octagon and he came and gave me a nice hug and and uh, uh, and thanked me. You know, he says, you know, <laughs> really, it's uh, you made a big difference in what I did because you saw his lip, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And then yeah. people don't realize that he had a big old gash about all oh, three four inches on top of his head. You know, and people say, well, I didn't even know he was cut. I said, well, that's because I did my job.